Hey, I'm Nikki from the Stay at Home Maker, and today we're gonna make one of these super handy trash cans for your car. Let's get started. All right, so what you're gonna need for this project is, um, you could probably use scraps for this. Um, I am using scraps, but they're pretty big pieces. Um, we're gonna cut 12 by 12 inch squares out, and I'm using um, this leftover cotton twill that I have from a trench coat I made because, you know, all those times when you think, man, I really wish I had a trash can to go with this outfit. Now we're going to match. And then for the lining, I'm just going to use this white quilting cotton. If you were going to use two lightweight fabrics, you would want to get some fusible interfacing. Um, this is just a scrap I have, but it's it's um, matte on one side and the other side is shiny and that's the adhesive and you just iron it on but you would need two 12 by 12 inch squares of that too um, so we're going to go ahead and cut our fabric i'm cutting two layers at once here so this will be two 12 by 12 inch squares of the lining All right, I'm gonna go cut my main fabric and I'll be right back. I almost forgot to tell you we're making a strap for these so that you can hang them around your headrest um, so your kids can use it in the back of the car or you can hang it on the gear shifter thing um, in the front seat. So we are gonna cut a rectangle three inches by 27 inches long. All right, once you have all of your pieces cut out, you are ready to start assembling. So first we are going to put the main, the outer fabric together. You're gonna put it right sides together. If you have directional fabric, make sure it's facing the same way. I've got my stripes going sideways. You're going to put it right sides together and sew along three sides. All right, once you have your main outer fabric sewn together along three sides with a quarter inch seam allowance, you can sew your lining. Um, for the lining, we're gonna sew two parallel sides with a quarter inch seam allowance. And on the bottom, you're going to sew part way because um, we're gonna use the opening to turn it after we put the bag together. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, once you have your lining sewn along two parallel sides and an opening, I left a, let's see how big this is, um, about a five inch opening along the bottom. Once you have that done, then we get to make the corners that make it stand up. Um, so we're gonna take this one first and you want to line up the bottom seam with the side seam. And you are going to have to do that by feel. Um, just line them up. And you're going to pin. See how it makes a little corner like that? You're going to put a pin in there and sew straight across an inch down from this corner that we've sewn. Not not this, not in the seam allowance, but from this corner, you're gonna sew straight across. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Before I do that, something that will make this a little easier is if you have a seam gauge, um, click it down to one inch, and then you can just line it up with your corner and and then just mark it. This is just a pencil, but you can use Taylor's chalk or whatever you have. This is gonna be on the inside, no one will see it. Um, and then you just, you know exactly where to sew. All right, we have our corners in our main fabric sewn together, and I'll show you what that looks like from the outside. 
flip it right side out and see you've got a little corner and then if you decide not to make the strap to hang your trash can up it, it'll kind of stand up on its own you might have to put something in there in the bottom but just makes it look nice on the bottom nice and square all right we're going to do the same thing with the corners on the lining just the exact same way you're going to line them up line up your bottom seam and your side seam and then you're going to sew one inch down right there um you don't have to do this next part but it'll just help um, the inside not be so bulky. I'm going to cut these little corners that we made. I'm just going to cut those off a little bit on the lining and our main fabric. All right, when you have those corners snipped, you can set these aside. Now we're going to work on the hanging strap. You are going to fold each long side under by a quarter of an inch and if you have that seam gauge that'll help you get a consistent um, quarter inch all the way across both long sides and you're going to press it um, so it's folded down a quarter of an inch on each side. All right, once you have folded it down a quarter of an inch on each side and pressed it, not the short sides, the long sides, you're gonna fold it in half and press it again, which I already did. And then we are gonna top stitch um, at an eighth of an inch seam allowance down both long sides. All right, now that you have your outer fabric all ready to go and your strap um, pressed and top stitched, we're gonna baste the strap to the outer fabric about an inch away from the side seam. I'm gonna clip that there and then make sure your strap's not twisted and put the other end about an inch away from the other side seam and clip that in place. And we are gonna baste them with a quarter inch seam allowance. All right, you have your outer fabric with the handle basted on, just there and there. And now we are going to take our lining fabric um, with the wrong side out and put it right sides together with our outer fabric. Lining up the side seams. You want to make sure your straps are down and out of the way. So line up those side seams. You want to make them face opposite directions if you can and pin or clip them. We're gonna do the same thing with this side. Make your seams face opposite directions, your seam allowance. Put a clip. Okay. And I'm just gonna put a couple more clips on so it's secure. And make sure that my strap is out of the way. All right, now we are going to sew all the way around, all the way around with a half inch seam allowance. Okay, our lining is sewn right sides together to our outer fabric along the top edge. I'm gonna snip a thread and we're gonna find that little hole that we left in the bottom of our lining and turn it right side out. Ta-da! Okay, 
and we're going to stuff the lining down in there. Like that. You don't want the lining sticking out. There we go. About like that. And you're going to press it press the top and then we're going to top stitch around the edge with an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Okay, once you have your top top stitched all the way around, um, you just have the hole in the lining that you have to close. Um, you can just fold the edge of the opening under and stitch it closed with a machine it won't be very pretty, but it's the lining of a trash can, so I don't think anyone's going to judge you. Um, I closed mine with a ladder stitch. It's not a very good one, but that's what I did. Um, then you just put it back in there, and you are all done. This part goes over the headrest in your car, and you can put a recycled grocery bag inside if you don't want to throw your trash right in it or you can just use it the way it is. You're all done.